Automated and reliable cell localization is essential in histopathology image analysis, but due to the large variability of biological tissue, this is still a quite challenging task. In this work, we present a robust supervised learning approach for accurate cell localization in histopathological images. Our cell detector learns from simple dot annotations of the cell objects in a training image that are given by an expert. In the standard approach, a binary pixel classifier can be trained to discriminate between foreground and background using image patches, where the center pixel is labeled. However, predicting the probability of each image location belonging to a cell or background suffers from several drawbacks. Firstly, the cell centers cannot be well localized due to an inconclusive, plateau-like classifier response on the cell nuclei. Secondly, it may lead to multiple peak responses for single objects. And finally, individual adjacent cell objects can be merged if they are too close or their appearance is too similar. In order to tackle these problems, we propose an alternative localization pipeline that consists of two phases. In the training phase, we compute a continuous proximity score map from the annotated cell centers. The training set consists of local image patches and the proximity score of the center. We use a regression random forest to learn the scores. In the evaluation phase, the proximity score map is predicted for unseen images using a sliding window. Subsequently, non-maxima suppression is used on the predicted map to detect the cell centers as local maxima. Maxima with low proximity score can be filtered by applying a confidence threshold. Instead of a binary target function, we propose to use a continuous, non-linear target function based on the inverted Euclidean distance transform of the annotated cell centers. The Euclidean distance transform itself, however, produces high values even in background areas and thus the cell centers are not well defined. Moreover, it introduces ambiguity into learning the background appearance by defining multiple values for the same class. These issues can be overcome by restricting the learning target and we therefore introduce a non-linear proximity score map. By defining this alternative learning target, we obtain uniform values for background regions. In addition, we can put more emphasis on the cell centers and get well-defined peaks. Each image location gets assigned a proximity score to its nearest center, where a higher score indicates that there is a center close by. This score is maximal at a center and decreases exponentially until it becomes zero after a certain distance. Shape and width of the function can be controlled and hence we can combat the problem of binary classification approaches. All remaining locations with a proximity score of zero are background. Different cell types may have non-uniform staining due to their morphology. Our method is able to localize these cell nuclei as well, while producing well-defined peaks in the prediction map. Our method is able to separate cells that are very close without object separation as extra post-processing step. Binary classification produces less well-defined valleys between objects. Inhomogeneous staining may lead to high probability scores for a foreground in a binary classifier, but both the current state of the art and our regression method can cope with these artifacts.